Welcome back everyone. I am Air, and I thought I would do another video on Ravnica Allegiance this week. Um, I know I said I would get back to more video game content, and we will. Right now our basement is under construction, so I don't really have the ability to shoot that type of content right now. But it's coming soon. Hopefully next weekend I'll be able to put something up. But at least for now, um, let's get this thing open and see what we get. So here we have it, the Ravnica Allegiance bundle, used to be known as the Fat Pack, before that uh, was phased out. We have Player's Guide, 10 packs, card box, basic land pack with five foil lands, and we have a dice. Let's open this thing up and see what we can pull out of it. Okay, so we've got the player's guide, something that's fun to look through. We've got our booster packs, we have our dice, Simic, we have a couple of rules cards, and we have our basic land pack. Take a look at this real quick. So uh, normally these don't come with foil basic lands, or at least they haven't, but the last two sets they have been. And the reason for that, I think, is the normal booster packs don't come with the basic land. So as far as I know right now, this is the only way to get foil basic lands from Ravnica Allegiance. So it's kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to put any kind of premium on these in the future, but I imagine they'll be worth more than a standard basic land because you can't get these out of booster packs. And then the rest of these, same deal. Um, there looks like there's only one art for each because I think they made them specifically for this particular box. But again, you can't get these anywhere other than the bundle, at least currently. So, something to think about. I don't know how important that is, but... It is what it is. All right, so let's see what we can get here. For opening 10 packs, I'm guessing we should be pulling at least one mythic. But it's not an exact science. All right, we're gonna go through these pretty quick because there's not a whole lot in the common spot that's worth paying attention to. All right. And raise Forerunners. I don't think that's worth anything, but I think it's a cool card. All right, let's see what else we have here. All right, Gyre Engineer, Gateway Sneak, Flames of the Raised Boar, and another Kea. I don't really feel that that card is very exciting, and I hope that is not our only mythic here. But statistically speaking, it's probably our only mythic here. Well, let's make the best of it. Let's see what else we can get here. We got our Scuttle Gator. I always like to see him. All right. Electro Dominance. I think that's, that card's kind of cool. I don't know if it's going to see play, but I think it's at least a good EDH card. I don't think it's terrible. Kind of like a weaker Genesis wave. Much well, much weaker Genesis wave, but <laughs> you get to burn something and you get a free spell. So I don't think it's a bad card. All right, let's see what we have here. Lavinia. I know she was worth something when she was in pre-order status. I have no idea if she's worth anything currently. But we're going to double check the price on that because that may actually end up being a decent pull. All right. 
Wake in the erstwhile. Swing and a miss. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, hallowed fountain. Okay. Yep, that'll work. Let's get one or two more like that, and we can call this pretty good. I feel like, okay, here we go. I was going to say, I feel like the per persistent petitioners are pretty rare, all things considered, even though they're a common. That's pretty much the only common I'm looking for here. Biomancer's familiar. I like the card a lot. But... It is not worth the price of a pack. All right, getting down to the end here. Sphinx of New Prov, that's a pretty cool card. Sphinx of Foresight, definitely not a bad card. All right. Galloping Lizrog, that card's pretty sweet. And Immolation Shaman. I don't think he's worth anything either. All right, last pack. Let's see what we can get. Let's get another Shock Land or another Mythic. Let's get something good. All right, we've got Archway Angel, Blood Mist Infiltrator. Carnival and Carnage, and <laughs> Godless Shrine. Awesome. Yeah, that'll do it. I think I think this is a pretty successful bundle. Two shock lands and a planeswalker. All right. Well, I'm going to add this stuff up. I'm going to see where we're at, and I'll be right back. All right. So that actually turned out pretty good. Some of those prices have done some weird things since I checked them last. So um, we've got our petitioners here. They're still about two bucks, so that's pretty good for a common. Um, Biomancer's familiar is apparently about three, so I'll take that. Uh, Sphinx is about the same as it was last week. That's uh, about five. Lavinia's dropped about a dollar, but she's still six. Hallowed Fountain's eight. Godless Shrine's ten. Electro Dominance is 10, so apparently somebody found a spot for that. Um, again, I think it's a cool card, so it definitely has potential. Um, and then uh, Kea here, um, she dropped about two bucks, but she's still at 13. So uh, put it all together just with these cards, we hit about $58 in value. Now, I wouldn't be able to sell these for 58. That's probably trade pricing. Uh, that's what retail sites are charging for these. Um, but my point is, is I paid like 35 bucks for the bundle and I got almost double the value back just in these cards. So I count that as a pretty successful box. seems like this set has a pretty strong expected value. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm liking the set so far. seems like the prices are going strong. Um, I'm probably going to buy some more packs. <laughs> So, um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, give me a like, throw me a subscribe, um, and we'll do some more fun things together. Thanks a lot.